Hey everybody, your host AMF1534, and two things are going on right now. A, I'd like to welcome you back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3, and two, there is an awesome, awesome college football game on right now. And I'm not really an SEC person at all, but the Arkansas-Mississippi State game is getting pretty interesting. But anyways, so last time we were on this level, for whatever reason, it was right around the end of my right around the end of my episode, and for whatever reason, my uh, remote just like totally quit right in the middle of my uh, of my trying to play. I was like right here, I think, and I jumped off the, like through the top of the screen, and then all of a sudden I just straight up died. Like my remote just stopped working completely, and I died. And that's how that episode ended. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder where that shell went. I took it in the tube with me, but it did not come out with me. Who knows? Okay, so level five, just for the record here, this is this is the big one. This is the other one for this world, at least. This is the one that's got the uh, the white mushroom house unlockable in it. So we'll uh, take care of that here in just a second. I actually have to go pee, so hold the phone. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back from taking a, a nice piss, and let's let's move along. So. It's actually, to my knowledge, if I remember correctly, is one of the easier ones of these to do. These typically are not very easy, because it's hard to find where all the coins are hidden. But this one is actually pretty easy, and I'll show you, because ten of them are right here. Which only leaves eighteen more. And we have a Tanuki suit, which is even better. And the football game is coming down to the final play, and those ones are always the most fun to watch. But that is not important, because we are trying to find some coins. Oh, oh no! Okay. I don't really know how else to do this part, so we have to do it the long and unproductive way. But it's going to work, so I guess, you know, what do you do? I guess if you had a power P, you could probably go under this thing and do it the easier way. Haha, <laughs> that guy just died. And there's a lot of awkwardly necessary backtracking to do. And I don't like it, because you can't stand on any one of these things for too long or it's going to kill you. <gasps> All right, here we go. I think there's only like a couple of coins left, which I would really hope so. Actually, I think I might have gotten them all already. Did I? Did I? I just might have. No matter what, we're at least going to get something else out of it. My dear God, we got it. How about that? And the game's over. Looks like Mississippi State totally blew it in the last in the last uh, minute or so. Another power P that I will not be using. That's just great. Just great. It's really cold in my house and I'm kind of hungry, but that doesn't matter because I'm not eating right now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! God, I never get that one to work. Blue, blue. Okay. So now it's on to number six. Letter six. Numero um, F, I think. I think F is the sixth letter in the alphabet. You know, this level's weird. These turtles are really weird. I kind of like them, though. For some reason, I just like them. You can't hate on them. They're just, like, too cool to be hated on. Look at how hard he's trying just to, like, allow me to fly up a little bit higher. He's really, really giving it his uh, 123%. And I really appreciate that. <sighs> I should not have had that energy drink earlier, damn it. It's making me feel like a real piece of crap. It definitely worked out great earlier, but now it's not. It's just not. I thought it was gravy, but it's not. Yeah. yeah, that's right, Mr. Lakitu. I turned you into a bunch of coins, and then you died. What are you going to do about it, Daddy? <laughs> I don't know how that's working. I don't know really know how these guys managed to get up here. They wouldn't be able to breathe. The air is thin. It's like being in Denver. Being a mile high becomes harder to breathe. 
But I've never been there, so I wouldn't know, but I just, that's what I hear. Hey, Matt Barkley, I don't care that you left the game with an injured something and wasn't even paying attention. Oh, no. Oh, no, yes. 20 coins? Where's the 20 coins? Ah! Damn it. One of these days, I will defeat you. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That was a real defensive breakdown. Did they pull off the win? Uh, oh my god, they won. How about that? Yikes. Alright, well, oh, come on. Alright, well, we have some work to do. Ah! <laughs> I love that part. I have no idea why I like it so much. I just like being the bane of that guy's existence. I think that we can go in here. I don't see why we, would, we wouldn't be able to go in here. Can I hit that? Can I hit that? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go in here. Because I want to. Hey, we're, we fell out of the clouds. That's kind of cool. Guarantee there's something in here. Yeah! That's right, I know. I know. You stick with me and you're gonna know. I wonder where this block takes us. We're going to find out. No. Um, wow. What the hell? Did you see that come out of the ground like that? That was weird. 69 coins! Oh my god! Eh, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do anything up there, so we'll just go back in here. Yeah, I dare ya. I dare ya! What are you gonna do about it? Oh no. I'm being chased. That's a total unfair advantage. So I will avoid the problem. God, these guys are everywhere. I fucking hate them. But that just means that every time, I can just, you know, do that. Boom, boom, boom. Fortress time. Oh no, not this place. This one's just like totally laden in lava. And apparently, you know, we'll defy the physics and make the ceiling be made out of lava. Which means we're gonna get double prizes, if you really consider those a prize. Hey! Go! Go, Mario, go! With your awesome gymnastic ability and invul invulnerability at the same time. I oh, God, I can't even see that damn leaf. Oh, wow. I somehow made it under that. Whoever the interior designer for this place is deserves a raise because that is quite the challenge. Ah, yes! You are once again dead at the hands of me. Bam! We're actually approaching one million points here not too long from now. A flower head with a mushroom guy's mouth. Kinda creepy. If I were to see that guy like a, in a dark alley, I would run. That's all there is to it. There's nothing weirder than deformed, like, off-hybrid breeds of people that aren't real. Oh, I'm gonna take you down, or not! Go, 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 go! And we're gonna, we're gonna get out of it alive, at the very least. I just like how it goes to straight black like that. It's like, you've now entered the Twilight Zone! where everything you know is now in black and white, and people will chase you in here without your consent. I have a lot of fire flowers. We'll use a couple of those. Just because I want to. No! God damn it. You guys know my position on these. I don't like the ones that have these. These uh, weird, like, blocks that just are weird. Especially when they keep, like, becoming like weird, I wouldn't say pixelated, I guess, but uh, they keep like chopping out. And I have to deal with these guys. I don't like them. At least they're not hard to kill. That's why having the fire flower is very beneficial for this level. You know why? Because I just totally saw it coming because I'm a psychic! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was stupid of me. 
If this were any level ever in this game to use um, a power peon, this would be the one to do it. God, I have so many of those. I just now realized that. I'm gonna use a star just for the sheer purpose of getting it out of my bag because I don't need it. It's almost like Mario's covered in radiation for a moment. He's just like, oh my god, I'm flashing green because I'm so angry. I went and rolled around in a toxic waste dump for about a half an hour, and this is what I get out of it. This level becomes much more difficult now that we don't have any sort of power-ups to deal with this. And you can still jump on him, but dealing with the second one is a horse of a different color, because it's just more difficult. Because it doesn't give you the same kind of flexibility, so oh my god. Oh, I know we're almost at the end of it. Just don't die. See you later, asshole. You damn ass hat. You ass jockey. Any sort of other words that you can come up with that begin with the, with the word ass? <laughs> Which kind of reminds me, even though none of you are going to understand this, with the exception of about two people that are not regular viewers, but <laughs> there was some sort of inside joke last night involving the answer of it being Bill Nye's ass. It was a nice game of Would You Rather that went horribly, horribly wrong. That involved something about either having sex with one of the most unattractive women that we know, and by we I mean just like me and my close group of friends, or having, or something about like, something about Bill Nye's ass. Bill Nye the science guy and his ass. I don't remember what it was, but that ended up being the- that was like the first choice of the Would You Rather. And I was just like, dude, no way, that's like super gay. <laughs> and like, not even cool. I would not do anything involving Bill Nye's ass. And then somehow, the second- the second option ended up being so incredibly more disgusting that amidst that, when I heard it, I was just like, without even a shadow of a doubt, even with my mouth filled with half a McChicken, I was like, Oh my god, Bill Nye's ass! Bill Nye's ass! I would much rather have the option being Bill Nye's ass. Which, as gay as that is, I would probably still rather take that over the first option that was pending. It's just like, not even, not even close. Where, where the fuck did I go? But yeah, you guys are probably gonna think that I'm super gay for that, but if you were in the situation that I was in, you would understand. So, do not, do not judge me for the situation that I was in. Either way, we are now in the boss time. Be careful with this guy because he will make the ground shake and he will kill you. And he looks like he's wearing a luchador mask and I am not appreciative of that. Alright. Be careful on how many times you die up in here because I can come back to bite you. I'm actually going to use my anchor because I have one. Um, let's just use a leaf. Dun, 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 dun. We might just have barely enough time to get through this level. Just barely enough. But yeah, I've officially come to the conclusion that the game Would You Rather is awesome. Because apparently they made like a book for that that you can, like, buy, and it just has all sorts of these different would-you-rather scenarios in it. And it's both hilarious and completely disgusting. I think that maybe maybe my next episode I'll actually have just a full thing of reading off would-you-rathers. <laughs> because they're really funny and totally disgusting. If I do it, that would kind of, like, totally go against what I normally do. Because I would be, like, having a script and i try to not do that. But... Sometimes it's acceptable. We'll see. Depends on my mood that day. But in anyhow, it's time for the rematch of me and the guy that continually likes to run into the wall. Oh no! You have to be in the air, otherwise he's going to kill you. But he's dead! Oh my god! Yes! Bum, 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 bum. I don't even remember what the king looked like before we had him transform back. So, that'll, that ought to be interesting. Oh my god, it's Gandalf! 
He has an abnormally long beard that apparently is pronged. And his mouth can, like, change forms. Weird. So apparently Gandalf is the ruler of the skies. Be careful in the ice world. The creatures trapped in the ice will come to life if warmed. Interesting. So, looks like we're out of time for now. So, when you guys come back for the next episode, we're going to dive right in to the ice world. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.